this is the length circle of radius sir i think he has given capital r this is and the radius of the sphere is small r and th this is green color i'm just showing it that, that is like a axle huh? horizontal axle oe uh take take lollipop and and uh, uh, ro rotate it on the surface of the ground that lollipop will be round no and, and there are two angular velocities are there one omega 2 and another will be omega 1 if you view from the top it will be going like this huh? there is a top view it will be like this so there will be this angle is to omega 2 and it is also spinning about its own axis and and this is an horizontal ground that this everything is on some table no is asking what is the find the total kinetic energy of system i think definitely what is the moment of inertia about x axis so this is x axis this is y axis Uh, in short sphere if you make a disk i think it will be easy for you to understand the diagram then it will go round you can you can solve for the disk also if you are interested in huh? agree the disk will rotate so here it will have linear velocity this will be r this capital r the disk will go round no in circle path of radius r <coughs> take take some plate a uh, uh, dining table you 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 will having in kitchen circle plate no that you 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 make it to go round about point o and let it also rotate and it will rotate about its center of mass with angles to omega 1 it will rotate about point to about vertical vertical axis of radius r with angles to omega 2 is asking now what is the total kinetic energy of this how to bring kinetic energy so total moment of inertia so it is having a rotational kinetic energy about x axis also y axis no so we'll write it equation here kinetic energy is equal to kx plus ky what is kx ix omega 1 square by 2 what is ix 2 by 5 half into m small r square no radius of the sphere is how much small r here omega 1 square plus what is a high y moment of inertia how you define moment of inertia about its center of mass plus m r square uh, please do notice here parallax theorem i think i should go for one more axis here no this axis will be parallel to y axis so what is the distance that one in fact capital r plus small the i think that this i'll, I'll extend till here that this will be very easy for you for a disk i think i am able to show for the sphere no i am able to get the 3d diagram properly and and it will be like this huh? here i think it will be okay fine so all this will get the required answer that this is a total kinetic energy so like this what if a rigid body is having like if it is moving in a plane just do make observation and what is the angular momentum okay let's let's get into that also what is the angular momentum ix omega 1 i cap minus iy omega 2 j cap and ix iy we know substitute that 
will get the required answer. Fine. So everywhere, what man think about the kinetic energy and angular. Uh, now here also, sir, what is the angular acceleration? Same concept you bring. Sir, it is it's independent of the shape of the rigid body. Let it be no problem. And and it will have tangential velocity. If you see this, v v equal to r omega two, v equal to r omega one. If you want, you can bring alpha. Similarly, what we did earlier problem, huh? the same concept. This alpha is due to what? Due to change in direction of motion because omega one, omega two are constant. I think you didn't ask omega one, omega two. Only v is given. So therefore, omega one, omega two, we have to replace. So what is omega one? Omega one equal to v by small r. Omega two is equal to v by capital R. So what we know is only velocity of center of mass of the sphere, that is v. In terms of that, I'll express in the end. I think the same set of numerical, the same idea. Here, moment of inertia, a little bit easy. You know already that we are calculating it. Now here to practice numericals of this kind, and there's all possibility of asking at least this one, the cone one, okay, a little bit lengthy, and the two disc colliding, no, can be asked. See, it's on screen, computer, no, a little bit on board. Within 15 minutes, I'll explain all such because here lack of space, uh, we are unable to proceed fast in classroom. No, 10, 15 minutes is enough for me to solve such big problems uh, because all at a stretch, all linking, everything, we can do it. Hmm? So do practice some numericals of some multiple concepts huh? because that is the thing where you learn so many things like uh, conservation of angular term, conservation of linear term. At a stretch, five six ideas must be there. Such a numericals you pick up. Don't go for mass oriented, which are of no use. I think the even the JE advanced no, they 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 try to avoid mass based questions, mathematics based integration that one. Multiple ideas are something very important. Uh, evening will have one hour class because still more some good numericals are there. Let me just explain. So why I am teaching all such lengthy numericals so that multiple ideas are there where at a stretch you are going to learn. And for student, if you really put effort and solve on your own, no, still more better idea. You'll get overall picture. Oh, I I can think also like this. This is what needed for us. So evening I'll intimate time. I think uh, Venkana sir, when you will take class? Anybody? Timings? Usually Venkana sir's timings. Anybody reply? Sir, six to seven. Sir, six to seven or six to seven. That is it. Okay, I'll do one thing now only. I will put the timing. Huh? And you also tell that a physics sir needs some extra class. That's why I'm taking. So I'll I'll put seven to eight. Okay. Seven to eight. Uh, seven to eight will have class. Huh? Okay, love you. Yeah. Sir. Okay, fine. Huh? I'll end up the class. Thank you very much. Huh? Thank you, sir. 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 Bye, Thank sir. You, sir.